guys, welcome to another YouTube video. I think we're doing our thing. We are getting shredded. Here's a physique update. This is what we're looking like, but the skin is just like paper here. But with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys how to get that shredded full day of eating. This is what I have to do to get this shredded. So let's get into it. So the first things first is I wake up and in the morning I always take the same supplements and that's gonna be greens. The reason I take greens is because it's gonna help get me all the micros in that I need. Um, and then I also take some fiber, which on fiber on a cut is gonna keep you full and satiated. Though when you wanna step on stage or if you wanna go um, to the beach or something and you wanna look really good, drop the fiber because um, fiber makes your like stomach hold water, fiber and water like hold together, um, and it makes you feel full. That's why fiber is great for weight loss. Um, that's why I take it in the morning because sometimes I get really hungry right now being leaner. Um, so if you want to like not be bloated, definitely take the fiber back. But I take this maybe like once or two times a day um, right now just to keep me satiated. And then I also take a gut health because gut health is the most important when like regulating your metabolism and also digesting food. Um, and this GI really helps me. Um, so this is all Revive. And that's like my morning cocktail. It's chocolate and it's amazing. But with that being said, I'm gonna throw that back and then we'll get into the run. So it's a bad day to be smiles. So before I take those, um, I drink a glass of water just because it really like if you drink all your water in the evening you're gonna get up like 50 times to go to the bathroom that used to be me I'm learning um, but I'm like start my day with a like one of these I drink about eight of these a day so you know it's just easier to start ahead so I chug this and then we throw back the greens All right, so in the morning, I like my coffee syrups. I have my black coffee before the run um, right here. I'm gonna show you guys the syrups that I have up top. So basically what we have is these, these are like the new ones that are my favorites. They're 1883. Um, they're a little bougie. They're from, they have like France on them. They're a little more expensive than the skinny syrups, but they taste amazing. So I'm gonna pour this um, sugar-free vanilla in my Wawa coffee to kick off the morning pre-run. My protein coffee after the run to recover. So I like my caffeine and I like my protein. Those are like the two things that make my life um, easier on prep. So yeah. Just like that, wrapped up a three mile run. Eight minutes and 28 minutes per mile pace. Um, this is the physique. Getting shredded mile by mile, day by day. Remember, it's not what you do in one instance, one day, it's what you do over a long period of time. 
endure, embrace it, just get after it. So, solid three miles. Total miles, 828 minute per mile pace for three miles. There we go. What's up guys? So post run, um, before we have lunch, um, I protein fast, so you'll, I'll talk about it right after I consume this and show you guys my next meal, but pretty much this is all I consume is a protein coffee and my greens. Um, so I'll have my greens in the morning with, um, normally that's it, go for the run, and then I'll have my protein coffee because it's got caffeine in it, which is gonna increase my neat, and it also has some whey protein in it, which is gonna help me recover. Um, so all I'll have is sugar-free cinnamon dulce syrup and uh, cookies and cream protein, one scoop, and some almond milk, mix it separate, separately and then pour it in. And I wanna show you guys what it looks like. This is like the consistency. Um, there's like cookie pieces in there. Um, I don't know if you can see. But yeah, this is one of my favorites and it keeps me on track and it's just a staple of mine. It's a non-negotiable protein coffee in the morning. So I'll catch you guys on the next meal. Now I'm a big advocate of tracking everything on prep. So right here, all I track is my activity because my calories stay the same. I just want to be consistent with my um, activity. So I wear a Garmin Phoenix Cinematic Sapphire, but you could use any watch, Apple Watch, anything just to track your activity because that's how you know how many calories you're burning and your caloric intake, what it should be. So I run three miles five times a week and then I try to get at least 10,000 steps a day. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, three miles, this is like my running schedule. I, now I do lift on top of this, um, but I just track my, like I said, my activity, like how much I'm actually moving throughout the day. But yeah, so I'm averaging at least 12,000 steps a day plus three miles of running. And I take this and I put it right here. Basically this allows you to really like control the controllable, see is it the diet or is it like me just like simply not moving enough. Um, so yeah, just wanna show you guys that this is another way. I highly suggest it like go on Amazon, just find like a little calendar that you can write stuff down on because it helps to see it visually and also to stay track. Alright, so this is the bread I use. This is like what I was talking about. It's only 60 calories per slice. Macros are 3 grams of protein, a half a gram of fat, and 12 grams of carbs um, for one slice. So, yeah, this is just something that they have at most grocery stores, nature's own. Alright, so this is going to be my first meal. Um, we got the toast, we got the eggs. This is like an omelet, we put fat-free cheese on it. Um, 18 grams of fat-free cheese. I'm gonna put the total macros at the end of this video. Um, and then the condiments, we sugar-free ketchup, and then we got this some more of this Parmesan seasoning, and um, some spray butter for the toast. But yeah, this is the first meal, along with the protein coffee that I'm gonna show you guys. Pretty much I have this and I protein fast. So basically all I'll have is my greens and a protein coffee in the morning. Um, and that's all I have to like one, maybe 12.30. Um, and I just push off my meals till later because that's when I get hungry. So I think the worst time, the worst thing to do is to eat when you're not hungry because then when you are hungry, like you already have calories added up. So um, I'm not really hungry in the morning and I also have the mental capacity to like push it off. So that's what I do. Um, so yeah, big meals because little meals don't satiate me. So I'm going to dig in and eat this first meal. Stay tuned for the next one. This is going to be a good day, a uh, full day of eating.
All right, so we started the shoulder workout, as you guys saw, with a uh, shoulder press on the Smith machine. I like it because it's nice and smooth. You get like a good stretch throughout the whole movement. Um, I did two like lighter sets, and then I did a one like medium range set. So the lighter set was reps to 12, and then I did like the medium intensity, which is eight reps, and then I did a high intensity, which I just did as many as possible on the heaviest weight I could push for like eight to 10. Um, and that was my top set. So we did 225 um, on the Smith machine. Happy with that, this farm prep, but yeah. So, all right, so now we're gonna go on to another pressing movement. So started out with the compound, which was the Smith machine. Um, sometimes I do like free barbell, but like I said, being this farm prep, I don't wanna injure myself. And also I get a really good squeeze on Smith machine. So um, next we're gonna go into shoulder press dumbbells just to really get like the hard, dense look. Cause I think dumbbells just make your muscles look more denser, more mature. So that's what we're gonna hit. Um, I think you just get a better stretch. So let's do it. All right, so next we're gonna go into uh, shoulder flies and then front shoulder raises. I superset these um, and we're gonna do as many reps as possible. Right now they're in prep. I'm not even counting my reps. I'm just trying to like push as much volume as I can. I pick like a weight and I just go for it. Try not to make it too difficult. Mental fatigue is a huge thing. So I like to just have fun in the gym right now and just like see what I can do um, for a decent amount of reps. So using like the 30 pounds, not going too heavy and uh, just super set in this, so let's do it. All right, that's gonna be a shoulder workout. I'm exhausted. This prep is like literally starting to hit in. After I hit my weightlifting sessions, like there's a brief period of time where like, if I don't eat my next meal, I feel really shitty. So I'm gonna go back and eat the next meal before I hit that wall. Um, but yeah, it's getting real. Four weeks out, baby. 2,100 calories. Embrace everything that we're going through. So let's do it. All right, so this is gonna be the next meal we have. 250 grams of this Ben's Jasmine rice going in, and then we have a whole can of sliced carrots, the seasoning. Um, I love chopped onion seasoning, so we're gonna add that as well. Um, and then we got some shredded iceberg lettuce just to get some more volume in. And then we have seven ounces of Flexburg chicken. You guys can use code um, French on that. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. This meal right here really fills me up. I use a lot of, like this lettuce is just a lot of volume. So if you're dieting, just volume is your best friend because it makes like signals your brain that you're getting more food than you actually are. Um, so it helps you like manage your hunger. Um, but carrots work the best for me um, because they're the least gaseous vegetable that I can consume. Um, so that's why I chose carrots. And I also love carrots as well. So um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the finished product and the sauces that we put on it. I'll probably add ketchup to it because I put ketchup on everything. Um, but yeah.
Now this is the final product. I mean, look how deep that dish is. That is a ton of volume. I also put the chopped onion on there and also the garlic parmesan. And then last but not least, you guys know I love my ketchup. <laughs> Yummy. So, time to get cozy. We got the cozy Gymshark on and um, get the slides. And I'm about to chef you guys up what I have for dinner, meat and potatoes every single night. Now, in this prep, I love lean ground beef. And my favorite right now is ground venison. As you guys know, I hunt. Um, so venison is deer meat. Um, it's 95% lean, 5% fat. I eat 12 ounces of this. Um, I believe it's like a superfood. It's got tons of micronutrients in it. Um, and it's just super good for overall satiation um, before I go to bed. So I don't go crazy on like some pantry item that we have, like Brittany has cookies. <laughs> so um, it kind of just holds me over. So I'm gonna shut up some deer because we don't have any deer meat in the freezer I gotta get some this fall in Iowa and Pennsylvania and go hunting um, but yeah I'm gonna cook this up with the deer meat we have 400 grams of potatoes now I get the little ones just because they're easier to weigh and I'm gonna mash them up and put some seasoning on it but yeah this is gonna be dinner I'm gonna show you guys the finished product here in a sec have 12 ounces of venison and then we have 400 grams of these mini potatoes um, and this is gonna be like the most satiating like savor some meal that I have um, it's got like I said the meat and potatoes of my diet it's got the most like micronutrients and I do this to end the night so I don't crave other things and I don't go into the pantry and I don't have those late night thoughts of food and all that bad shit as much as like I would if I eat like just chicken breast at night so this this like keeps the variety. I had the eggs in the morning, had the chicken, had the protein coffee, and now I'm having the beef and potatoes. Um, so I'm just literally hitting all areas of the diet and I learned that this balance is the best for me. Um, so that's what I wanted to say. And just to give you guys like an idea of what my activity is like, today we had 16,451 steps. So um, just the step count super important. Keeps your metabolism going and it also is a good way to track like how many calories and how much you're moving throughout the day. So with that being said, um, I'm nice and cozy and this is how I, I wrap up the day with meat and potatoes. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, stay corn fed. I'll catch you guys in the next one.